All right, so this is the uh, Toro 76601. Um, and I got the uh, bagger for it, putting it together now. I just wanted to show this part here because I haven't seen anything on YouTube that showed it. But this here, this right here goes into this slot, of course. Uh, but it had paint around it, around this whole shaft. I just kind of polished it off and it goes in there smoothly now. But just be aware of that because this won't get in there. It's very difficult to get in there. So it worked. And then of course, because I got the wrong one at first, uh, wrong bagger, because the weight it had, it, it was saying that it goes on the front, but there's nowhere in the front to put it. So this is actually the correct one, which is the, uh, the bagger model number is the 79347, uh, not the 346, 79346. It's the 79347 version so just make sure you clear of that and then you should be good but so far this is going well and I'll show you the update later all right so here's a quick update they did not make this completely clear in the uh, assembly instructions but this bracket here which is for the left side this is the, for the right side as you can see it's totally different because this part is missing but this is here as you can see there so the way this goes on is you're reusing the bolts on this so these two bolts here uh, I don't know what size this is I forget but the nut on the other side is a 13 millimeter or half inch so you're reusing this bolt that goes in these brackets as you well, I showed you on the other side it goes underneath or not underneath but goes around as you can see see this bracket goes around Let's see goes around boom and goes under and those bolts I'm about to show you the bolt goes where is it at there it is those bolts you were using that hold the uh drive train i guess you would call it those are also 13 millimeters or half inch if you can see i don't know if i can see if i can get the camera in there but you can see the uh the bolts there hold those or tighten them whatever they go to there the bolts there Ugh. and you see it's all of this those two bolts and those two bolts there hold this whole bracket here together so far and then there's a bracket underneath just for the transmission I think they call it this here This here, he has the divot. If I can get a better picture, but it curves around. You can see here. Oops, let's see here. Curves around like that, and goes on that transmission. You reuse that bolt, and that's also 13 millimeter or half inch. And what's on top? Cause it's a long bolt that goes all the way through same size so i'm getting ready to put this up i did this side i haven't tightened it as you can see and we'll go on the other side put that bracket on as well as this side well this side for this which goes there let's see and then i'll show you the update of everything else later all right so i made a I mean, I'm coming along good so far, but I made a little mistake. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not really crucial, but these bolts here that I reused, <laughs> I didn't really, re I didn't really need to reuse because 
they come with their own bolts here. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Ugh. They come with their own bolts. So, I mean, it may be crucial, may not be crucial. I'm not sure. But, um, I mean, it's not really much big deal. But so far, this is what I have. <clears throat> this bar, as you can see. This nub right here comes in from this side. You slide that in there. It's kind of self-explanatory. Same thing with this. Comes in there. The point goes that way. So, it's coming along, but like I said, I wasn't supposed to reuse these, but I reused them. Uh, I know they do have a difference in uh, grade bolts. So, um, I'm assuming it, st it should still be good, but... If it doesn't, I have the bolts, so I'll just put them in if they come to break or anything like that. So, this bracket, so you have to bolt these two on in here, and then there's, and then there's bracket, there's bolts right here. Because this is a separate piece, you bolt that in there, out here. So, and this just kind of, this right here just slides in here. Now that's why this part was open. So it all made sense. So it's working out good so far. Like I said, just the bolts there, but I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Uh, but we'll see. If it breaks off, I'll do. I'll upload the update that it broke off, and you need to use the new bolts that, that it comes with. So, but all right, uh, good so far. See how this is. All right, so I just want to show this part here because this wasn't really clear to me, but I kind of figured it out, which is here. This is supposed to be turned that way. Everything is sliding into that corner there and it goes into these slots, the pins. And then on the other side, you put the pin in here to keep it from coming out. So now that you know, you see it slides in that way. Uh, I guess to keep kind of airflow or so. So, because that image was not clear at all. All right, so here's the finished product. Finally got it done. Let me see with this. Uh, this is a different cover. You see this? <clears throat> so, came out okay. You see, you just you slide those on on each side. This big top piece. And that's pretty much it. Oh, boy. And this here, you pull this off. Lift that up. And there you go. That just kind of sticks out. See this? All of that. So, and then that's that filter type thing I was telling you about. That was all right. Comes around. And the only thing I had to do was drill this quarter inch and put these screws in. Oh boy. That. Oh well. You don't see the other one. <laughs> the other one's over here. They gave me three bolts, but I, not three nuts. So I don't know where the other nut is, so that's why I didn't bother to uh, screw this. But there's a, actually a nut that's inside. I actually had to reach my hand all the way in here to hold a wrench to it while I screwed it on the outside. Yeah, it was kind of difficult. So if you got short arms, pretty much like me, <laughs> 
you definitely going to have some issues. So, so I'm about to try it out and see if there's any other uh, things I was supposed to tighten up or missing. And I'll give you an update if there is something that I needed to change. All right.